Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use ducking. And no, not quack quack ducking, but it's called ducking. It's where you duck the volume out of another cue while you play another cue for that moment in time. Um, normally, when I was programming in the past, if I was going to do a voiceover or I was going to do another video commercial, let's say, uh, I would have to time everything out and then go there and do an audio fade cue and bring the volume down of all the tracks that were possibly playing. And then as soon as that video finished, bring all the audio tracks back up. Um, ducking is a, is a fantastic way to not have to program anything, but at any time you want to play a video or a new audio track or a voiceover or anything like that, you can simply do it and everything else ducks out at whatever volume you set and you can stop it as well so let me show you an example this is let's just for say an example the intermission logo and background music and backdrop okay so this is what it looks like um, of course we have uh, three items in this group we have our backdrop looping we have our logo and we have a track now let's say I want to play a commercial for a sponsor which I do a lot in my intermissions during my uh, performing arts tours, or I just want to play a commercial for my own production. If I play this right now, Extreme Vegas, that obviously sounds horrible. You can't hear anything, right? So we're going to stop that. We're going to go into the Extreme Vegas video, and we're going to go, I believe it's in Basic. No, it's in Triggers, sorry. You click on Triggers, and it's going to say here that when you start this video or this cue you want to fade and stop everything okay so if i start this and now i start this it fades out everything and stopped everything you can see the only thing running is this video right now okay but in this case, we don't want to do that. We don't want to stop everything. All we want to do is duck the audio of the other cues only. Okay? So we can go here and click duck audio of the other cues. And you can say over time. In other words, how long does it take for it to actually bring the volume to that point? It could be 10 seconds, 2 seconds, immediately. Um, and then you can say duck by what? And you're going to duck it. And you can scroll up and down to control the volume. Obviously, this is all the way off. This is keeping the volume at about you know half or just lower the volume. In this case, we're going to take it all the way out, and we are not going to stop it. Um, we're going to leave it on just like that. So we will now fire that again. Once we fire the video, to lose yourself in the magic. okay. Now that sounded pretty much like you had chosen to manually start that video but let's make it little seem slightly more as if it was part of the programming by taking this and making it three seconds Oop, not three minutes oh that is not doing good at all there we go three seconds so now over time three seconds before that fades all the way out let's try that and we'll fire the video right now And now it kind of sounds like it was actually part of the song because the fade out is over a longer period of time. Okay. Another really useful uh, purpose of ducking is for announcements. So let's say we have our background music going and uh, the second half announcement comes in automatically. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you return to your seats at this time. That sounds great, right? And when you test it, that's not a problem. Except in the show, you've got tons of music playing, and now it happens to come over this part of the song. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you return to your seats at this time. Now, there's a guy singing in the back, and he's talking, and there's too many words, and now it's confusing. So what you want to do is you want to go to here to um, the second half uh, voiceover track, you want to go to triggers, you want to go to duck audio of all other cues, and you want to duck it by, let's say, 15. So now, we can go here and we can fast forward that to the annoying part. Ladies and gentlemen, 
gentlemen, we ask that you return to your seats at the this music time. is still playing Once in the background, again, please return but it's just like having a sound guy the lower the volume. Now watch it come back up. And it comes right back up. Which is just like having a sound guy, but it's completely automated. No one's having to do anything. Trust me, the sound guys will love this. They can continue doing their work rather than having to run back to the board because a voiceover is going to start. Um, so this is really, really a phenomenal way to do this with videos. Uh, like I said, in my intermission, I constantly have sponsors or we're raising money for a uh, children's um, organization. And they usually give me a small video. And I have the video triggered by time, by a time clock cue. And so when the video starts, um, I don't know what's going to be playing in the background. It'll automatically lower whatever song is playing, whatever video is playing, and go into that. So it's really a phenomenal way to control um, a whole soundboard issue or your other cues by either stopping those cues to play this next thing or uh, simply... Um, you know, bringing it down. Also, I do a lot of fade out and stops in my cues because I want full control over them. Uh, but if you always had a second cue in your show that needs to stop the previous cue, the previous music, um, you could always add a ducking and stop all cue to every new cue, which you wouldn't need to put a fade out because every time you fire the next cue, it stops the previous one. So I hope you can use this and uh, I hope you get to use ducking in your next show. Quack, quack. Ha, 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 ha.